Welcome to this episode of the Red Cup Review. I'm your host, Rob Banks, and today we're looking at the Ash Mezco Evil Dead 112 Collective figure. And I want to remind everybody that if you do enjoy this review, to please subscribe and comment. Let me know what your favorite Evil Dead movie is. Let me know what your favorite version of Ash is, whether or not you're going to be picking up this figure. Let me know if you think this other regular head sculpt looks like Ash or not. A lot of people are saying it doesn't. I don't particularly care. I think it looks great. And I just got a, a liking to these figures. Also, make sure to hit the little bell because every Saturday night we go live at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time with the Week in Pop Culture Review with the Red Cup Review. So without any further ado, I hope you enjoy Ash from the Evil Dead. Well, this is going to be more of a quick Red Cup Review here. We're going to get into this head sculpt right away. And I want you guys to notice the blood and how, like right around the hairline and how it's kind of wet looking. Once the light hits this, it gives it that fresh blood effect over here when the light hits it it kind of makes it look like like kind of regular paint but when you get it in the right lighting just kind of like that it gives it that right nice real thick gooey drippy blood effect thing going on there so the head the um paint work around these heads in particular on this figure i think mezco did a fantastic job probably some of the best around the ear paint work that i've seen so far from them the outfit itself is all kind of stained with blood and roughed and tarted. This is stitched to the leg. Be careful. Do not rip this off. Be careful with the tattering. You don't want to rub up and down too much on this because it will fray more and more. And before you know it, you won't have any shirt left. Let's take a look at this accessory here because I already put this on. He doesn't come in the package with this. You have to put this on him and the peg hole is really deep. There's the pulley right there. The pulley does not pull off. It's all one sculpted piece. But look at the work right here on that. It looks like it's just dripping with gore. And it's got like rust spots in it. And it's all battle damaged up and nice. And you can see the blood splattering on the damn chainsaw over there too as well. And this side shows you that it's like kind of rusted looking. And the blood is kind of old. But then when it hits the light just properly, look at that. The blood kind of shines right in the grooves there. So the paintwork on this is actually quite quite excellent there's the uh the sheath where he puts his um his shotgun in so you can take the shotgun out put that fella right back there and boom it sits in there nice and does not come out so it sits in there nice and tight so there's ash for you here's a quick look at his legs he's got the double jointed knees that go up uh, it's on both of them the ankle rockers are excellent on this figure they ankle rock perfectly they rock the ankles rock and uh the hand holds the book and the gun, or there's actually a, another hand for holding the book, but, you know, this hand works just as good. You just slide it right in there, and now he's got his book that he's holding. And he's kind of, this, is, this head sculpt is the most like Bruce Campbell, too. It's also the most expressive. It's probably tied. I, I got to edge it out. I probably like this one a little bit better just because of the expressiveness on it as far as my favorite one goes because it looks like he's just kind of had the worst day, and it matches his outfit. He's already been to battle. However, a lot of people are giving this other head sculpt... A lot of flack saying, hey, this doesn't look like Bruce Campbell. It's the worst head sculpt ever. Matter of fact, it kind of does look like Bruce Campbell if you just look at it and tilt it a certain way and don't take these pictures with the flash on and you get a nice good look at the figure. It's more of a character. This is not a hot toy. This is a Mezco. And this is his determined, I'm coming to whip some deadite ash. Right? He looks great there. So you get him like that. You put him in a diorama like this where it looks like he's inside of an abandoned house and the figure is going to be excellent. <laughs> Ashy Slashy's accessories. Here we go. Going down the line. The big old FU hand. The detailing on this is really nice. However, I think it's kind of silly that they included this in the first place because unless you're going to have him holding it, see the end there? How grotesque that is? It can't just stand anywhere else. You're going to have it sitting on the floor or something like that. I don't know. If I'm going to have him something, it's going to be the shotgun of the book. Let's take a look at the shotgun. Shotgun is okay. It should have opened up and came with two little, um, we used to like the Punisher figures, like the slide works and all these other weapons works on these other Mezco figures. This should have been able to open up and you should have been able to like have them loading the bullets in there. It's a little bit flat on the paint. The paint is decent on the brown part of the gun. However, there should be more weathering on the top part. So the gun kind of falls short, but it works. It looks nice in his hand, but that's about it. This is a very nice uh, piece. It should have opened up. I know there's a lot of it should have, it should have, but that would have been some next level hot toy stuff if they would have had it open up and actually have some, just a couple of pages in there. And if they would have crafted this in a softer, it would have felt like, like a softer plastic. It would have had like that real skin like texture and that would have made it extra creepy. But it looks great. There's it in, in like low light and there's it in, you know, basically what it's going to look like in your hand or in Ash's hand, that is. So 
it works. It's all right. Pretty good. Not not bad. Not great. Here's the stand. They've been dropping the ball at the stands lately. First the Catwoman, which just the name Catwoman on it. I spoke about that in the last video. And now just the Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. They should have had like the movie graphic like they're doing with the new Freddy. The new Friday the uh, 13th figure. They're going to have like the actual movie graphic with uh, Nancy on it. They should have did something better here. This is by no means bad. It's a step up from Catwoman, but I don't know. It just doesn't stand out to me that much. And it's kind of like, eh, missed opportunity. Head sculpt. Well, before we get to the head sculpts, take a look at this thing. Eh, this is the same thing that the uh, uh, the Deadite that the Sideshow uh, Ash came with. And this is pretty cool. This is like standard because you want this on the floor and you want him kind of like stepping on the head or maybe aiming the, the shotgun at the head. Like, you know, that would make for a good pose. Or you could kind of have it, if you have like a diorama, have it like sticking out the window or something. Or like creeping up on him, kind of. Eh, I'm going to lick your face. All right. That's it for those the regular accessories. Oh, take a look at the hands. Hands, hands, hands. The hands have like this little bit of their focus. Yeah, there are, see those red splats? That's like, you know, maybe like blood or something. Or maybe like the freckles or like just like regular um, pieces of skin texture and stuff like that. The nails should have been a little bit dirtier. They have been known to dirty up the nails a little. You know, the hands didn't necessarily have to be all clean. That is because he's already comes battle damaged. So... They should have came more clean, not as clean, rather. Okay, head sculpt number one. These grooves in the face are actually sculpted. Let's see if I can get my nail. See how my nail stops? I scrape it and the nail stops. That's because they're actually sculpted into the face, which is quite excellent. The paint around the ears this time is absolutely perfect. So they've definitely improved in the paint around the ear section, going around the back of the head. There's very, very, very little bleed back there, if any at all. The hairline is done excellently. And the paintwork is great on this. A lot of people are giving this flack saying it looks nothing like Bruce Campbell. In certain aspects, it does. It just depends on the light you're using and the tilt and stuff you have on the head. And this is like his determined face. And I actually kind of like this head. This head here is, I guess, pretty cool. It's, you know, it, it's actually the nicest looking head because it's got the most amount of uh, sculpting in it and paintwork. And the paintwork is pretty damn excellent on this one. Here's the uh, Deadite Ash. And what I would do with this is maybe stick this on another generic body so he can have a uh, zombie. I'm not going to have Ash wearing this head. I want Hero Ash. I want the good Ash, not the bad Ash. How many cups is this figure getting? We're giving him three and three quarter cups. I think he's excellent. I think he's going to fit great with my Freddy versus Jason versus Ash, which is what I'm doing with my piece of the collection here. And uh, let me know what you guys are doing with your uh, little Ash setup. Why is he only getting three and three quarters cups? Well, he's only getting that because of the uh, single joint and elbow. There's a couple of nits that should have been a little bit more weathering on the shotgun. And that's just about it, though. I got to be honest. I, I kind of really dig this figure, but I can't just go all out and start, you know, piping it. Uh, because he only deserves so much, even though I happen to love him. I still got to be kind of impartial, right? I mean, this just isn't, you know, that's what I like. But his arm goes back about that much anyway, just to give you guys an idea. So three and three quarter cups for the Red Cup review. How are you displaying your Ash figures? He fits in perfectly with your horror figures or your movie icon figures, any for that matter. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Red Cup review. And if I can't get another thing out this week, make sure to tune in on Saturday night at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time with a pop culture review. We can review with the Red Cup review. We'll see you then. <laughs>